everyone welcome back to my channel so today i have another amazing tonic craft kit here this one is the apothecary box kit i will put the links below to where you can find these the kits are only available through tonic studios so if you're ever interested please hop over and check it out because the kits are known to sell out pretty quickly because they're just such um well put together kits you'll see what i mean when i open this and if it's your first time watching welcome and if it's the first time seeing a kit i've got lots of videos on previous kits um if you've bought them previously um please check my videos out for inspiration so what i'm going to do i'm going to quickly show you what's inside here so you always get a leaflet with what is included within your kit and oh my goodness this is what you'll be able to create with this beautiful beautiful box kit um you've got your nouveau products in this bag you've got your stamps and dies within the folders usually you get um one of these folders every fourth kit so they're really handy to have and store your kit dies i've got a paper pad here and then this folder consists of my papers so let's get into the papers first so here i've got out all the papers and cards and you can see the beautiful color selection within the cards and papers and you do get a mixture of different textures different weights which work perfectly with your dies that are in the kit so you can see there's um shades of red blues greys and then there's some silver um board here and then there's a beautiful um shiny mirror mirror card here as well all the names of these cards are in your leaflet but i'm just giving you a little overview of what you get and they are absolutely stunning so the nice thing about these kits is if you like any particular paper or card you can actually buy full packs of them from tonic studios so those are absolutely beautiful and i'm just going to leave them out while i show you the nouveau products so in this bag i have all my nouveau products and i have got some full size products here i've got this beautiful aqua shimmer pen and this was um this one's in sunlit sienna so really, really gorgeous shimmer pen then i've got this embellishment mousse and i love using this stuff you can actually use your dies as stencils and push this through it looks really really beautiful so you can use your pretty verso dies cut out and then use the mousse over your made stencils so this one is called antique red and you see how everything just coordinates really really beautifully i've got a drop here and this is a vintage drop get out the bag and this vintage drop is called earl grey really really nice bottle as well and then this is your mini um, adhesive tape runner and this one is five millimeters and it's a really nice small thin roller but they're really really handy and this is the dotted blue tape and when you swipe it across this is the tape you get so really nice that there's a full one of these so these are all full size items now on to oh i've actually missed out my paper pad so this is a part of the craft perfect which is basically the papers and cards from tonic and this is the mirror card collection and these are really stunning i'm going to open this and show you the mirror card collection is six by six there's four colors six of each and they're 250 gsm um cards and they are stunning so you get this bright red mirror black glossy mirror i love this card and then there's like an iridescent silver and then almost like an iridescent gold really really nice handy six by six paper pad so on to my dies now which are all in here so let's move these across inside my folder i've got this folder consisting of all my dies and then you've got the sticker as well and you know me i like to put my sticker on top so i know what each folder consists of and then i'm going to put my collections the past few collections in this folder so inside here i've got my dies and they are going to create the most amazing box and there is a little stamp set in here as well so let me quickly show you the dies so you get one sheet of dies like this and these are going to create some 
uh, patterned layers you've got your drawers and sides and then more dies and these are going to create by the looks of it your opening knob and then the feet sides and maybe top and bottom there so when i cut them all out i'm going to obviously put one together with you and show you and then if you want to add some decorative elements you've got some stamps here to add a little touch of beautiful stamping like you can see here in the in the leaflet it's a really really nice design there so i'm going to cut some bits and pieces out and let's create a apothecary box for my apothecary box i'm going to be creating a three draw box so for each draw this is what you're going to need you're going to need two of these and that's going to create your casing and then you're going to need um four of these with the tabs i've already put my red liner tape on and one of these and that's going to create your draw and then you've got all the decorative elements that you can use to decorate your little boxes with or little drawers with so i've got all these bits and pieces cut out using the dies in with the um, die collection and then i've also cut out this section here which is going to create one of my openings um where i'm going to put my doorknob and then to create the doorknob you're going to need two of these and it also comes with some decorative dies which you can use to put in the center of that little hexagon shape so i'm going to show you how to put that together and then there are more decorative elements so like i said i'm going to create a three three draw box and um i'm going to create one here i've already done two so let's create this one and then i'll put all three of them together
so once you're at this point where you've got your drawer ready you can go into the casing and now you will see I'll just push that down a bit now you will see that this is how it's looking now the reason i've left this side blank um is because i have made, like i said i was going to do three like a three compartment box so now i've got another two ready so i've got a little gem that i'm going to add on to this section here with a bit of glue a little gem just to finish that off like that so then i've got this bit blank because that's going to get stuck to this side and then these two are like that and then when i've got them on the top the decorated and on the back as well so i'm going to stick these three together i've got my red liner tape on here and here so they're just gonna stick to the sides and then we're going to work on the feet for these for the feet so these are all stuck together now looking really pretty i'm gonna put these two aside so for the feet you're gonna need these dies so for each of the feet, foot or the leg you're gonna need to crease this section like that and then this one just like that i am using the um thicker card from the six by six for this one the silver card so it'd be easy if you if you did use paper because it's going to crease better and um, but i just wanted to finish it off with this so then you're going to bring these on top of each other like that and then stick them down um, with some glue and then that is going to create your sturdy leg for your box so I'm going to leave that to the side to dry and I'm going to show you um, something else because for the middle of each of the connections where I've got these little just one sec line that up so for where I've got this section here I'm going to need two of these and then oops, they're going to sit like that on the edge and obviously there is um, you can see there's a line in the centre, so there is a die that cuts off this section and then you finish it off like that. So I can either have just um, four, like two here, two here and then four at the back to finish that off like so. So let's get these feet put on. there we have it with all the feet attached they look really really good and then it stands nice and proud like this it look, almost looks like um those um uh, moroccan or turkish tea boxes i think it's come out really really cute and obviously your little drawers pull out like that and it's a nice spacious um box to store anything on your desk as well really really cute and then here's the back and then back to the front here so i have done another one which i'm going to show you let me just put that to the side this one is using gold and gray and i've used some of the beautiful um vintage drops from the kit on this as well there's so much more on the kit that you can use um i like to use exactly what i get in the kit um in terms of paper and card just to give you an idea of what you can do straight out of the box but you can use whatever papers whatever embellishments you like they just come out really cute so this one is really nice and i know um leo karen and alison call this the pew pew card because it is very very blingy so girls this one is a very beautiful pew pew box <laughs> so this Sec this one here i've used one of the large ones and i've actually cut into the actual um wrap if you like for the box and then i've used the gold 
to create the actual um, drawer so the casing is with the verso die so you can see through it and then the gold pops through um, I didn't want to add too many decorative layers I think it looks really nice and modern the way it is and then these smaller drawers you make it up exactly the same as you do the top and they are really really cute and adorable as well there is um, instructions I'm going to show you actually there's instructions um, along with this die set where you can actually create the large box like this where you can cut out the centre and create a small drawer just pulling out of the centre of the large one which is really clever but you do get the um, instructions as well to do that so another really clever way of doing this and as you can see you can have your boxes in whatever format you like you can have loads of um, small ones going across the bottom and then the large ones on the top and then more small ones small ones on the top so really really nice and easy to create so i hope i've inspired you to create these beautiful boxes and um, check out the links below to tonic studios where you can find this die set and you'll find a lot of inspiration there as well so that is it from me for today thanks for stopping by and i'll see you all very soon take care bye